say, I'm fired, I'm training. And I mean, I'm not training. I mean, I'm, I'm training and I'm fired. And there, you know, there probably are. I mean, but I'm saying, like, what, what, and I don't mean anybody to fight it, so like, what makes you think that you don't want to pay? That's kind of, it's like I told you, right? you know, like we talked about earlier. A lot of guys claim they're a fighter, you know, they, they buy the tap out t shirts and they hang a bag in the garage and they order the $40 UFC gloves off UFC.com and they, you know, they talk a big talk, but like I said, everybody wants to be a fighter until you can punch them in the mouth. So, do they really put in the work? You know, you, you meet a lot of guys, it used to be, it's, it's really ironic, I talk about this with a lot of training partners back in the day. You know, two, three years ago, you see a tap out shirt, and I immediately walk up to him and be like, man, where do you train? Because you immediately assume that it was a fighter, but the sport has grown so much today that, you know, everybody wants to fit the bill of, I'm, I'm a tough guy, I'm a fighter, but a lot of guys really don't. So, um, you don't necessarily have to be, I wouldn't say good to be a fighter. It's more about the dedication, the hard work, the perseverance that you put in, um, and it all goes back to, can you handle getting punched in the mouth? I train with, uh, far above some of the best guys in Oklahoma City, um, Mark Collada, who's 6'4", 265 on a, on a light day. Um, Ryan Lopez, who is one of the most athletic guys you'll ever meet. He actually was on the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Ruben Zamoran, one of the most well-rounded guys I've ever trained with. Guys like that, on a consistent basis, I train with you know guys of high caliber. So I'm confident in the fact that it's very rare I'm gonna fight anybody, at least on the local level, who is going to hit harder or train harder or be more skilled than my training partners. And with that confidence, I feel that, you know, not only that, I, I've got a, a story that I feel uh, the average person can relate to my story, you know, my, my story in general, just struggles, perseverance. And so with that said, um, 